Hi, it's Russ from Predators Expert, and I want to show you how to automate Little Primal Tap. You may be new to automation in Protos, so I want to show you a couple of ways you can use to do the automation. And automation makes a heck of a difference, to, especially to a plugin like Little Primal Tap, which really can benefit from you really getting imaginative with the automation. And anything within Little Primal Tap can be automated. So the timing can be automated, the adjustments, the multipliers, the in the feedback and everything. Now, if you're new to automation, let me show you how you can find out where the automation is. If you hit this little window here, then you can see that when you first open it, you'll have all of these on the left-hand side. And it will give you all the options for the track you're on at the moment. So I'm on the track beat at the moment. And as you can see, I've got boom available. And at the moment, they're all on the left-hand side. So if I wanted to start automating any of those, I would be able to click on them and move them like that. Or in the case of Little Primal Tap, I've got them all across now. Now there is a quick cheat for making that happen if you want all of them on the right hand side. And what you do instead is if I come to Boom for a second, now you need to make sure that this is switched on, which is read, touch, latch, write, whichever one you want at the moment. Because this is the automation settings here. This is where you actually arm and disarm the automation or put it into different types of automation mode. So I'm going to open Boom now and show you instead. So instead of opening this here and just clicking on these one by one, if you press the Control, Alt and Command or the equivalent keys on a Windows machine, and press this, you'll see it all goes green, including the bypass. Now anything that's green now is available for automation. And if we now arm this by putting it into right mode, they all go red, which means they're ready to record effectively. And you can record all of these while it's playing. This will work when you're in playback mode and you do it in playback mode. And that then means if I start playing that now, if I just solo that and play it. Now you can see there, I've now re recorded some mutes on the snare. So if I put this back into read mode, So let's put little primal tap in as well and have that playing. What we can also do as well now is once we've got it set and all working, we can start, I'm going to undo that because I've already got a load of stuff ready for little primal tap. And what you can do is when you've got then got it into to right mode, you can do a number of things. You can either just go do a single pass or you can keep going round once it's in touch latch or touch mode. So right mode is where you overwrite, it's like scrubbing a tape. But then when you put it to touch mode or touch latch, you can keep going around in a circle. So this is now the drum part with all the parts put in. And if you come to drop down here, if you drop down here, you can see each one of them, depending on what you've done. If you can open all up if you want, there's the adjust. So let's see what else I've done. I think I've done some stuff on the, the feedback. There's the feedback. I want to show you those two. Let me show you those two for now, because what I've done is one of them I've done manually. I've let it run. You can see it makes a heck of a difference straight away, all that automation. So let's do a pass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub it all and start from scratch by pressing my three key trick. So Control Alt and Command on a Mac or the equivalent on Windows and press Remove. Now there's no automation. So I'm going to press it again, click it so it goes green. So now all of that, if you look in there, is all on the right hand side ready to automate. So my first pass, I'm going to write it. So I'm going to write mode and I'll make sure I've got it in the right setting. So yeah, I've got, got an idea of what I want to do. And here we go. So they're put in now. So if we drop this down and we look at the feedback lane that we just created, little primal tap, you'll see where I drew it in. Can I put that up and make it higher? So this time I'm going to do the adjust, but I'm going to do that differently. I'm going to do it from the lane itself. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to adjust. 
I'm going to draw it in from here. So as it's playing, we'll put this. No, we can now put this into into read mode, and I could go to adjust. If I grab this line here, I could pull it up. And you'll see it moving. So I'm going to put that to the floor first, and then where I want it, I can actually just literally draw it in. So I can grab here. And here, make that a bit higher. And here, those two together now. <laughs> and here, there. So we'll put a final one there. Or what I could do instead, I could grab that there and make it. Just to hear that together. And it's as straightforward as that. So I've done it here on a guitar as well. So I've got this guitar on this time. And what I've done with the guitar, let's just close all those windows up and bring that up a bit. And if you see the guitar, I've done a very subtle change to the adjuster. So I can get a chorus effect. So without it, There we are. Automated Little Primal Tap gives it a complete new lease of life. And of course, you can use these tricks on any plugin you use in Pro Tools. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.